So a long time ago, I promised myself that I would take you guys on my Truman application process. Let's take a journey back in time. Today is August 24th. Today is October 30th, October 1st. It's due today at 9 p.m. where I am in California. Four days before my school interview. So today's day two of interview prepping. Today is day three of interview practice. Hi, so it's day four of preparing for my school nominations interview. Hey Kimberly, thank you for meeting with the panel nominees. I am pleased to inform you that you have been selected for one of the four higher university nominations. What? What? It took a lot of preparation. I'm heading to the writing retreat for seniors and anyone who's applying for junior scholarships. Sometimes there were tears. I don't want to cry right now, but you know, I don't think it went as well as I hoped. So, yeah. Sometimes there were doubts. I just, I was just honest with him. I was just like, I honestly just don't feel worthy of this. And I know that's imposter syndrome. And I know that's like the devil trying to take away what God has planned for me, if this is what he's planned for me. So it's like, I don't want to submit it. I don't want to do it anymore. But through it all, I had a lot of encouragement from my friends and family. My friend who is a Truman Scholar, um, I'm not going to name him, but hey, if you're watching this, thank you. He sent me a really nice message, like, out of the blue. Mariah is going to ask me some questions. So you can see my laptop is right there. And I pulled up my application so she could just browse through it. And the administrative assistant for the Bison Thumb Scholars Program is interviewing me today. So very, very excited. And today, Shadira will be administering my interview. So... Kristen, you're oh, in the video. I'm in the video? She's in the video, y'all. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just finished my interview in there. I am so excited. I just got some amazing feedback from my friend who helped me, my friends really, who helped me look over Q9. And although technical difficulties occurred, I wanted to add footnotes like superscript. So like in the box that I typed it in um, on the Truman app website, it said that it was like, 1,700 characters and the limit is 2,000. It said it wouldn't accept it because I was 2,000 characters over. I didn't add one single word. All I did was add superscript. I would say the hardest part about Truman is like having a perfect paragraph or something and then checking the character count and realizing that you're over by 200 characters. So I'm hand typing. Uh, not hand typing, I'm retyping individual hyperlinks. And I was not selected as a Truman finalist for the state of New Jersey. So it's February 14th. Notifications are coming out for Kansas and DC and Puerto Rico and Rhode Island and New York. And I just decided to log out of Twitter because I don't even want to know when my region comes out. So. I'll keep y'all posted. And ironically, I'm actually in New Jersey now, so that's even weirder. I still put my best foot forward, made Howard University proud, and inspired others along the way. Just keep going and know that it's really all about how you tell your story. Everyone's the same age, first of all, and some schools might have more resources than others, more funding opportunities for special projects and just just walking your purpose and remember that passion like if you're walking in your passion you're walking in your purpose you know and leadership truly stems from the heart it's not about the 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 position it's about the purpose right so 
just wanted to let you guys know that well, I think it was a really productive meeting nothing too major you know but yeah we'll be on our way it's 9 7 p.m. and I want to submit it into the portal tonight so let's get her done and so life goes on here are some key takeaways so I am so grateful for the Truman Foundation for even having this opportunity and I recommend that everyone fill out a fellowship form if they're given the chance because even if you don't get it you learn so much about yourself you actually have the time now to sit and reflect on all of the important experiences that molded you and shaped you and formed your opinions in the past and what you want to do in the future and even if you don't get it you truly have an amazing graduate school application personal statements secondary supplements like the amount of writing you had to do for this and the amount of critical thought and the, the amount of critical thinking that took place is really important and I really really am grateful and just super proud of myself so if you followed me on this journey if you know me in person if you know me online like I'm super grateful for your encouragement and we're gonna move on to the next one you feel me so if you like this please subscribe I don't do fellowships often it's usually stem related and i'll see you next week for like a more scientific video bye i'm a truman scholar nominee for howard university and uh wow thanks for believing in me guys i am very excited